Hey, and welcome to the Cornerstone Builder. My name is Josh Donnelly, and in today's video, we are going to take a quick look at how to harness effects to bring your designs to life. So effects can be stacked, they can be added to different elements in a container to create some fun little illusions here of movement. So as you'll see, I've gone ahead and duplicated this design here, but this only has our standard hover effects where it's got a border and a little bit of a drop shadow. It doesn't have any of that same movement to it that this one does. So how do we add that? Well, we've got a couple of things going on here. We have a parent column and that column contains a top div with an image in it and a bottom div with our text in it and then an icon. And we wanna animate a few different things here. So the first thing that we're gonna do is activate our interactions on the parent container. So on the column here, we're gonna jump down and click on column one, go to effects. Now we have our base effects up here and the only thing I'm gonna change here, and this is a personal preference, I'm gonna set our duration to 800 milliseconds. So it actually takes a little longer. I'm also going to enable link child interactions here. And what that means is that all of our other elements that are housed within that container are gonna be initiated when we hover on the container. Next, I'm gonna turn on our interaction effects and I'm gonna turn on a transform effect here. And the only thing I'm gonna do for our column itself is come down to our transform. I'm gonna click plus here and I'm gonna add a move effect. And I wanna move this on the Y axis, which is up and down vertical. I wanna move this up five pixels. So we're gonna go negative five pixels. And you'll notice now when I hover on anywhere on this column, it moves up five pixels. So that's, that's looking pretty good. The next thing I wanna do is style our arrow here. So what we're gonna do is select the arrow and come up to effects here. And under our base effects, I actually want this opacity to be zero. And then I want there to be quite a bit of movement. So on our transform, I'm going to set our root position up 20 pixels. So negative 20 pixels. Then on our interaction here, I'm going to add another transform like we did on the column. And on that transform, I'm going to have it move down five pixels and I'm gonna have this opacity set to one. So it's gonna to animate to an opacity of one. Now let's see what that looks like. That's looking pretty good. You'll notice you could play with the transition speed here. You could have it go faster. To me, that's a little too fast. 800 is what we have the, the column at. And to me, that looks too coordinated. So 500 is a pretty good number here, which just adds a little bit of differentiation as you're hovering on things. Now we want this image here to, uh, to rotate a little bit. So we'll click on the image. We'll come up to effects. First things first, I kind of want this one to rotate at the same speed as the parent container. So I'm going to change this transition to that 800 milliseconds that we were using. And then our interaction here, we'll add another transform. But instead of moving this up and down like we were doing with the arrows and the column, we are actually going to add a different type of transform, which is a rotate. And we're going to rotate it. Let's do 180 degrees. And now when we hover on this, we get our arrow and we get our rotation. It's as simple as that. Now I could copy this and I can paste it on this one here. I can paste it on this one here. What I'm doing is I'm hitting the shortcut shift command V here on a Mac, which is also the same as right clicking and pasting style. Now, when I hover on any of these, we get our various effects, which is pretty cool. As always, I hope you guys have found these tutorials useful and that things like this will help you bring your designs to life as well. With that said, happy building.